Back we rock. Coming to you from another ability extension. On the pin the deep, on the pin the deep. Is a rope of the patrosh and that you go but a win. Air force need na catch a jean on no ziva keys, set an in the no more pa defeat. Sakazi pico, bout the zirico. I'm gonna fight for my life, retreat in all that visa door. Jehovah Gazira Ita Gura Yakana. That would only the Jerry, 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 oh, that would only the Jerry.
pass, and there it comes. It's a third, and it's a beauty. First right through for the score. Edward Sigaruke. Potendi will stretch his legs all the way home. Another beauty from the Junior Sables. themselves into a spot of bother off the floor they go Scotland on the attack again good hands onto the right hand side now looking for the ball on the inside to Avshar he steps on the fullback and it is Ben Avshar skating in for the first score for Scotland Kings a nudge to touch This is Zimbabwe over halfway again and stretching Scotland for the first time. And back on the inside to Manyarara, who just can't find it into the hands safely enough of Kanya Garara. But the Whether they choose to put it back into the... Back in it to bolster it. By the way, a brilliant opportunity for Scotland to round out this half with another score. Why are we giving it to them? Tackle! We, we're walking up and then we allow them to still have positive hits on us. Why? Come, boys. There is nothing special that these guys have done. Nothing! Nothing that is about any one of you guys sitting here now. But you've got to decide now whether you want it or not. That's all you've got to do. It's a choice that you are making. No one else can do it for you, boys. You guys have worked. There is nothing wrong with what you guys know. You guys can do 
something, but you're not panicking because you're not doing what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. We're walking on the path, we asked for 40 minutes. We're now walking on the path, we put ourselves under pressure. There's nothing spectacular about what they're doing. They play simple but rugby. Kick it, play the, 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 the liner more. Every single time, we make a mistake. They play wide, they go score. Inside, outside passes. The defense on the inside is not working. They only should go and try those. If we're not going to work for each other, we are wasting our time. We might as well walk off the field now. Middle of the line they go. Good ball from Zimbabwe. Now can they do to Scotland what's been done to them on plenty of occasions in this match? Cheng sets himself, peels off. Brian Cheng going for the line. Cheng gets there. Zimbabwe have points in this match. Spent some time on the sidelines, Brian Cheng. And how he shot off the floor from the number eight. Now to Brendan Marume. And he wants players outside to have a go. And one of them is going to burst right through for the score. Edward Sigaruke. Finest moments of the match from Zimbabwe. Near length of the field. From kickoff. A run from deep and doing so and doing it very nicely. Mutendi. Mutendi has found his number eight. Manyarara. Leopold Mutendi will stretch his legs all the way home. Another beauty from the junior Sables. When they play like this, you sense they can take on anybody in this competition. Didn't Mangarada do well to ensure that he pass here? Now Zimbabwe really chancing their arm, and it is working out for them. They might be going the length again. Watch out. Zimbabwe on the inside. Mutendi is there again. Needs one more pass, and there it comes. It's a third, and it's a beauty. I think uh, the first half was stage fright. Obviously, we're the minnows in this tournament. Uh, we played a Six Nations uh, team. Uh, we just had stage fright and then uh, we regrouped in the second half and then, yeah, we, show we showcase what we can do. We'll go to the drawing board and assess uh, where we went wrong. We got penalised a lot. So, yeah, we'll review that and then um, we'll build into the next game, Uruguay. As an African team, we, we don't get resources. We're playing against the Six Nations team with the biggest resources uh, available from them, from World Rugby. Uh, we are an amateur union, uh, we have 8 to 5 jobs and we're playing against a professional uh, coaching setup. So yeah, I think I'm impressed with what we've done uh, based on the resources that we have. Oh, wait, we know what they want and they're going to go after it. Putting it in the mixer, Erskine drops it and it might land here. It will, Mandaza! You want to line up? Shedrick Mandaza flying through the air for another try. What a second half it's been for Zimbabwe. They were 31 points to nil down at half time. And although Scotland have scored tries in this second half as well, which has pulled the game away from them. Came forward off the mark.
12. It was a glorious game that ebbed and flowed with the lead changing hands multiple times and tears in the eyes of the Zimbabwean 24th men and women who've sung their junior sables to an extraordinary victory here in Nairobi. You know, it's all about overcoming struggle, overcoming objection. You know what I'm saying? It's about overcoming. That's where we're at right now. You guys were like one of the like biggest names coming into this tournament, and you still are. Nothing has changed. Gondo, I know you, bro. Manyara, what's up? Zuzi, my guy. I don't know you, Chang, but you look like a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> To be angry, we came here to get disrespected by teams like this. These guys are looking at us thinking it's going to be a field day. Oh, today I want to see dogs in you. It's all in your head, dogs. Mental strength is the word today. There's no time to question ourselves today. Mental strength. There it was, late. Just to Mackay has the massive bodies charged over the line and very far Connor DeVos tip on to John Wilson who reaches and the arms go up in the air a popular scorer amongst this USA team John Wilson gets USA second and the boys in blue are on an early roll here in Nairobi. They've ever finished. The last victory came in 2012. But this side is running. This pace, this power, this flamboyance with the finish will light up the Neo National Stadium. Simba. Kanyangarala lighting up these dark Nairobi skies with a marvellous try. Well, it was such slick hands that open up the USA and once Zimbabwe were in and behind. So let's keep coming to the V, hit them hard, and let's keep that ball in play. When we get the ball, don't hold on to it too long. As soon as you get the ball, move it into space. If you hold on to the ball, they come in and take it out and put us under pressure. So catch the ball, move it to space and support. We've got this. I don't think we should be doing the pick and goes. That's the thing. We should be doing quick, working around, working around forwards, you know, pause the three, because those guys are lazy. Gaps will be open. If you hit them out, they're soft. So I think when we get in the red zones, forwards, we go like three, four phases, just working around hard. And then if you don't get through, we give it to the backs. Poetry is key now, eh? We've been running up and down all over, but that's always back down. And as soon as we start playing our structure, we've got it on the back foot. So stay composed, guys. Just understand the zones where we are. Get, uh, forwards, when we're in the in the in our red zone, we know how we're defending. So let's just watch 
When they come down, let's bring them down straight away because that they have no answer to. Guys, when you are in the red zone or whenever you're forward, you're carrying balls. Intention, the border, guys. Karamu down there, go forward. It's a coward scene. This mean when we're carrying balls. They must not want to tackle you. All right? At the right time, guys, get there quicker. We need to ride that pony quicker. We need to do everything at a higher tempo. Same with the line out. We can go through all day, but we've got to go explosive and dynamic. Let's keep working, boys. We've got this. It's a ball by Lexus sack straight away. Go for Four out. Out. Four. Pops up at the back, Dylan Mackay, burrowing, reaching. Zimbabwe right back in the fight. There goes Shadi, Mandaza, and then surfing the shoulder, Brendan Marume. A momentary lapse of concentration from the USA, the sharpness of Shadi's mind. For the fullback. And then he backed himself, pinned his ears back, had the desire, pumped the pistons. And made it to the corner to respond immediately for the young USA Eagles. Contest here at the under 20 trophy. Zimbabwe looking to burst through the USA ranks once again. It's super silky from Zimbabwe. Oh, Brendan Marume in for a double. Wonderful hands under extreme pressure. Oliver Clyde did a good job of ensuring that Brendan Marume wouldn't go all the way underneath the uprights, smiling away as he surged across the line. Still in command on the scoreboard and they're still playing in the Zimbabwe 22. This is where they want to be. Oh, risky offloading play, but it's yielding results for Zimbabwe. Junior Sables pouring through. Super speedy Junior Sables. Oh my goodness. Zimbabwe have blown the game wide open. The Neo Stadium is on its feet. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good feeling, it's a relief. Um, we knew we had it in us. Uh, we made it difficult for ourselves. Uh, even with a wholesome uh, starting lineup change, uh, we made a difference and it just showed um, the guys that were, uh, some of the guys that hadn't played the first two games definitely dug deep and they came out and showed what they could do. And uh, the bomb squad definitely made the difference and that was the plan. And I think, uh, yeah, I'm grateful for the team, uh, for the team sticking to the plan. I think, yeah, it was a learning curve for us uh, coming to the Junior World Trophy after 12 years. Uh, we needed to experience uh, what it's about. And then now we're playing catch up. We came to learn and uh, hopefully we qualify next year. We get back into it. Definitely, uh, that was one of my strategies today. I played uh, the seven guys that are in the 28 um, for, for next year's group. They all played today. It was a plan that I'm building for next year's um, 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 outings. And uh, yeah, just trying to get them exposed and uh, building for the next level. Uh, when we came into the second half, the boys were fired up, but after they banged the I think third try, uh, my head was just done. But like as the captain, it's my role to keep the boys up, keep their heads up and keep going. The turning moment, or well, the last minutes, the last minutes people were fighting. Everyone wanted it. As I was looking at the scoreboard, it was I think 31, 30, 37. And we just wanted that last try, so we had to make something happen.